Yeah, they say we have to stay on the hard standing and there's not actually loads of hard standing to stay on. Say, so we we just stuck ourselves in the corner, really. We've got a couple of friends come in. Um, uh, we'll introduce you to them later on, and we're gonna just see what the weekend brings. Well, this is uh, not what we expected, is it? No, it's empty. They've drained it. What's that about then? Hang on. Hi, good morning. This weekend we're going to Home Farm CL in Northamptonshire. We're gonna be meeting some friends. We're just arriving there now. Um, and we'll let you know what the weekend has in store for us when we get set up. This is concentrating as we're driving down some narrow roads. Full of potholes as per usual. Yeah, as per usual. I'm going to get it. Yeah, you're fine. Watch your wing mirror. Ooh, very close. You all right? You're all right. You're managing. It's a bit tight down here. They've got cones like over the white line. Well, that's a bit of a tight squeeze through there. Are we nearly there? This is it I here. See a sign. This is it here, I believe. I hope so. Oh, it is right next to the pub, isn't it? Happy with that. So it's in, in here. here? Yeah, in here. Okay, okay. Caravan and Motorhome Club. CL site. He's going to have to find somewhere to stay because we can't go on the grass. Yeah, they say we have to stay on the hard standing and there's not actually loads of hard standing to stay on. They said they've got four vans on here tonight. We've got friends coming as well. Come back a little bit more. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's best you can best you can do, isn't it? Yeah, I'm assuming so. And then people are just have to pull in front to fill up their water. Yeah, so there's supposed to be four vans on here today. Um, we've got water point there, so anyone wanting to fill up is going to have to be over near me to be able to get to the water. Um, we should be able to get another two in there. We've got a couple of friends come in. Um, uh, we'll introduce you to them later on, and. We're going to just see what the weekend brings. For some reason we've got 25% waste, um, or so it says, but I'm sure we haven't got any. Just to show you a bit of this CL. Um, obviously the CL is meant to have five spots, so you're coming in from the gate just over there, which I'll take you down. Keep on this hard standing, but they have got all this grass. Um, not usable at the moment because of the, the um, softness of the ground. You've got your water point there, Elson behind the van. Um, and I think there's another three vans coming in there tonight. He said there's four vans coming tonight. So I'm assuming that's that's one of the vans. So you've got this space here. So I'm assuming when they're not using the field, you just park up here and that's that. Say, so we're, we're just stuck ourselves in the corner really. Um, more out the way for when others arrive. We've got one van that we know turning up. So you have got all your bins. So it's got all the facilities that a CL would have. Now I think their main thing is supplying water, Elson Point and bins. There's the, the actual site number as well. Just there. <clears throat> it's a home farm, CL and rally field. Now I believe, like I say, they open up the big field at the back. But you are right next to a pub, just through them bushes there. That's the pub car park. And you've got the entrance to the, to the site here. Um, not far off the main track, really. So it wasn't that bad to get to. Um, not at all, really. There was a bit of a thin road coming in, but once you're here, you're here, you're set up. It's all done, so that's all good. And there we are. Would you believe it, even though we've got cloud cover there's a little must be a little bit of sun coming through because we are getting a little bit of charge it's 0 0.05 amps but um it's keeping them batteries topped up all for now anyway which is good but we're going to go out for a little wander just check out the local area see what's about 
kept wondering how all this fine like wood dust kept getting in the van but um, I've worked it out so they have chopped down a tree and that must be all the sawdust from that tree why they've chopped it down I don't know but um, looks like they have lovely it's just good to be out just to let everyone know finally the van is booked in to get all its warranty jobs sorted everything is in all the parts that they need so that is coming up on a video hopefully um, i can film some of it i will go through the bits of the van that did foul um, that need replacing and just in case you get a van out there similar to this still not working sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't yeah so one warranty jobs did he say yeah, no, yes, I was just saying we're going to have the video. No, but is that one of the warranty jobs? Well, not really, because it was, and then it was working when the garage had it. So every time the garage gets it, it seems to work. Oh, you can just mention it when you take it in, though, can't you? See if they well, can do what anything. The, what the garage has said is they do get a lot of problems with the, um, with the door and the way it's, it's done on the connectors and the hit and miss if it's locking or not so what they said they do is they can hardwire it in if they if we wish so it'll probably be at our cost I don't think it's going to cost that much but instead of the pins um, locating and then it locking you just obviously have a wire that runs straight into the lock and powers it that way oh there's some horses in that field it's all right it's a nice farmhouse yeah. over there yeah. and over there so the campsite entrance is there and then the pub car park entrance is here. Oh, look, there's a reminder for you, love. Big sign up there. Oh, the yeah. Valentine's Day one. Uh, <laughs> the one uh, that I weren't looking at that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, um, the pub that we're off into. So. Yeah, next door was only £14. Pounds. Um, but you have got your water, your Elson Point, and stuff like that. Let's put in here for a quick pint. Mm. Orchard. What is it? Thebes. It Thieves. says it on the actual oh, does glass here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And mine does as well. You've got cherries and berries. Yeah, it's nice. So, this is just alongside the canal, just out there. Just enjoying a pint. Old moot, I think you call it. Nice cider. Oh, old boots. You need to buy some new ones and I keep telling you about your footwear. We do need new shoes, to be honest. <laughs> you never know. Never <laughs> Careful know, what you wish for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Anyway, cheers. Well, this is uh, not what we expected, is it? No, we had, a, we had a nice drink in there. We booked in for tomorrow night, haven't we? So that's all good. Yeah, so that's all good. So Whatever. we can do that. No, it's empty. They've drained it. Apparently they're doing some work on one of the locks or something. Yeah. So that's drained. I'm not sure if there's... For two weeks, she said. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's water on the other side. But we'll see. Oh, you've got that. You've got the spice. You have got takeaways here. A bit more here than I thought. If I, because of the way the site is, it's like it's in the middle of nowhere, but so I did Indian. choose well. To be that's fair. an Indian. Oh god, look at that! It's up at the side, isn't it? Go across the bridge. And there's not, can't you not go across that one? Not with a fence in there, no. no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at, <laughs> but there's this fence in here. <laughs> so the pub we want to get to is over there. <laughs> so we're going to have to go around over the bridge. You can go that way, I don't think you can, can you? Uh -huh. I'll check it out. Okay. Ah, so we can go over here. And they're doing some work on the locks there. I don't know if you can see how deep they are, can't you? Yeah. There's That's... water on the other side. Obviously. Because it is a canal. You can actually park. You can park your little boat there and go for a pint at the boat in. How cool is that? I know. This is where we'd be harboured up most of the time. Next to the pub. What's that down there? I don't know what he's talking about. What's that there? Oh, it's an old little part of the canal, the old lock. But obviously they've shut this bit down and put a 
an old rusty barge in there. But I like the way you can park next to that pub, that's awesome. Yeah, so you can, can you just... Can you get a and then just sit on some on the barge? <laughs> is it just more your, more your boat up there, is that it? Mm. Yeah, that's it, you just moor your boat up, have a few jars and off you go. Again. Well, it is called a boat in, so I guess. Uh... Yeah, I think we're allowed in the boat. So. <laughs> that's well cool. Right, let's go try this place out. Yeah, so we had a really good evening last night and we were joined by some friends uh, at Richby's Life as, uh, oh, Life's Adventures, there, yeah, <laughs> behind me. <laughs> um, and here they are. Hello, guys. <laughs> Enjoying Merry yourselves. Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Standing enjoy? joke there, guys. Are you enjoying yourself? I am, yeah. Very pleased you uh, invited us along with your yeah. lovely weekend. Yeah, it's been great. It's a, it's a great site, this. It's like it's quiet here, but you've got so much around it, haven't you? It does the yeah. job, doesn't it? That's, yeah. that's the thing. It yeah. does the job. As we said before, the canal is drained. <laughs> you can imagine how nice it would be, though, when it's full and you've got the boats going by. And then through that lock, that side, be quite nice, especially if you sat in that beer garden there on a summer's evening as the sun's going down and the boats go past with the lights on. They look really nice. God, it's starting to rain again. What are you on about? We was on about the weight of them doors uh, and how, I suppose, canals were used in the past. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Let's go find a pub or a museum, somewhere dry. This is a really good pub we was in there yesterday. It's really nice in there. I'll take you in there in a bit. They've got like a little ice cream stall in there. Which is good. Yeah, so there's the museum, the Canal Museum. We're going to head over there in a minute. There's a restaurant here. I think that's part of the um, pub, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's the boat in. And then you've got Woodward's restaurant as well. Overlook the Grand Union Canal at the boat in. So, so yeah, it is within the boat in. That's good. And that's the water point for the boats to use when they come in. Checking out that restaurant menu. What's that free cost of 25 quid? Yeah. Lee's found a shop. Is that Rosie and Jim? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> chugging along on the old ragdoll. For the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah chugging along. On the old ragdoll, because their boat was, a, was called the ragdoll, wasn't it? Show my age now. Debs has been nosy. You can't get in. It's shut. shut. Yeah. But so. it looks like a little. Shut. Yeah. Like so no entry down there. You can only get along the other side. So we'll go back over the bridge. Mm. Look at the museum, and if it stops raining, we can maybe go for a wander down there. It's lovely, isn't it? The canal, nice and still. And here's the museum. Typical us, we missed it. Shuts at three. I think we're uh, going to head off down the canal bit. See what's down there. Canal Navigations noticed this bridge is insufficient to carry a weight beyond the ordinary traffic of the district mm. by order. Yeah, just imagine having that for your garden then. I reckon if you had a garden like that, you would easily have a boat moored at the end of it. Uh, so what's this? Well, this is... More like the workers type boat, isn't it? I've seen a few of them down there. So this is probably something to do with that. So we're going for a walk down now with Lee and Jodie from the Life of Touring. This is Hello. Jody. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to enter a, uh, a tunnel. Uh, never been on a... Oh, well, actually, this, this tunnel's got a name. Oh. It's actually got a name. Usually it is just a tunnel. Blissworth Tunnel. There we go. So I'm sort of glad he said that then, because I, I couldn't read that. <laughs>
two options then. You've got the path up there into the into the woods or under the tunnel. Not overly sure about the murky water like what what's that about within the UK? If you um, if you're abroad it's quite yeah. you know you can see but through it's so shallow. Is it to do with the, the mud, the ground? Yeah. yeah. The the boats are always churning up and because it's such a small volume of water. Yeah. It doesn't look like it, but that's actually quite a fast flowing underneath, don't you think? Yeah. Well, you're not getting under that tunnel, are you? Is this... What's that about then? Hang on. It's a section of the tunnel, is it? Just about read it up there. Yeah. A section of the tunnel. Careful. You've got a cleat here. Careful, you. Actually, that's, that's pretty big. Yeah. Hold me, so I don't drop this. That's it. Just having a quick run this little bit of hill because I'm sure I can get on top of this bridge. There we go. Ah, you can't get round. No. Fenced off. It's all in the woods. Yeah, no it doesn't. Maybe further up there. Yeah, I think so. I'll have to have a look. Sort of like a pathway there. I don't know how far this goes. Let's have a look. No. No, it's gets a bit muddy up here. I'm not buffering up there now. Ah, oh, there's number one. I reckon we can go back down that path there and end up where we started. I'm hoping so anyway. Here they come. Mitch is uh, getting Quite adventurous there. I think he's heard a waterfall. <laughs> what has he spotted? Oh, yeah. Like a little stream. What would you call that? A horse? A pony? Fred. Fred. There you go. <laughs> it's a pony, I would say. A pony. Yeah, because yeah, of the size of it. And, and plus they can pull along quite a heavy weight, can't they? I'm well, going into the evening now. Look at that sunset. Another van has joined us, which is absolutely massive. Put yourself on the grass. But um, yeah, so we're, we're off into the evening now and gonna chill out again um, but we're off to the pub tonight to have a meal so we're gonna enjoy a nice meal out um, saves cooking in the van tonight um, but this has been a great park up so far and well worth um, the visit and it's lovely to to again meet friends so this is what this life is all about get in your van go and see people and travel as to as many places as you can Good morning, it's Sunday now. We've had a really good time here. Um, I've really enjoyed our time with the Rich Biz, Debs and Rich. We've had a really nice couple of evenings together, um, which is what van life's all about, meeting people, meeting new friends, sharing experiences. So we've had a really good time. I went for a run this morning along the canal, so if you are into walking and running and you do come to this site, you can walk up either way from the site of the canal. Um, or run if you want to run. Um, I ended up doing only two mile though because I didn't know how far to go, keep going out um, so I ended up doing two mile but I've got some footage of the, the canal when I went for a run so I'll just stick that in here.
So it's a, a lovely day today, isn't it? It's better than the other days of battle we've been here. Yeah. There's no rain. No rain, and um, but yeah, we're on our last day today. So, Sunday. Yeah. I don't think there's a rush to be off here. We're just, has the lady been to... No, so we're waiting, because it's a CL, so we're waiting for the owner to, to pop round so we can pay. Uh, if not, I'll phone her up. Yeah. Um, so hopefully she'll be around soon. Uh, probably yeah. cash, I would have thought. Um, a lot of the CLs work from cash. Yeah. Um, oh, well, I'll wait yeah, until so like, so she doesn't turn up. We'll just give her a ring. Yeah, give her a ring and, and pay maybe yeah. over the phone or something. I don't know. But we've really enjoyed it here. There is a road mm. at the side, but you don't really hear anything, do you? No, not there? really. So it's just the other side of the hedge. Mm -hmm. um, but no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. What I think doing? the noisiest thing is the birds. Mm. <laughs> what are we doing anyway this morning? Um, are we doing anything? Good. or? Well, I don't know, we might pop to the museum, we might not just see what we're doing. Yeah, go for a wander. Yeah, maybe get a coffee or something. Yeah, that's a good somewhere. idea, isn't Yeah, it? go and get a coffee yeah, somewhere. I'm happy with that. See, we don't even know what we're doing when, before we even pick the camera up. Yeah. <laughs> we decide while we're on camera. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> Morning campers! <laughs> Morning campers! <laughs> we just had to help that a great big motorhome truck horse box thing. Um, it's pretty amazing actually, but we had to help him go out because we realised that if he had to get out to shut the gates, his nose would have been sticking in the main road so he could go out, so we went and helped him. But look at the grass now. It's all uh, churned up where he's been. Um, but we are advised not to go on the grass here in this weather. So when it's summer, they've got the whole valley field and everything that you can go on, which, which would be great. But they'll say this time of year with the way that it's been in the UK with the water and the water table. You're not going to have many uh, many campsites allowing on the grass at the moment. But that looks great. So what you thought of this place so much? I think it's really good. It's uh, it's very quiet, isn't it? Mm. Um, you know, it's no no bells and whistles, but uh, you get what you pay for, and it's really really cheap. Twenty eight yeah. pound was it? I believe so, yeah. Two yeah nights. Fourteen pounds a, a night, isn't it? So, it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You get your Elson points and water taps. Great location to a lovely village. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice pub next door. Yeah, same sort yeah. of feeling as what yeah. we've got then about the place. I'll definitely come back again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's alright like uh, if it's a couple of years and you've got the company as well, and you're not it. kind of on your own because you've got the pubs to go and yeah, yeah. sit in to socialise with your your friends. And yeah. stuff. But obviously. Some of the pubs can get quite expensive, so it's nice to come back and yeah. have your friends with you to to carry on socialising. That's really, it, isn't yeah. It? yeah. <laughs> you could be quite lonely, boring, yeah. yeah, quite lonely and boring if he's on your own here. Um, well, it depends who you are, I suppose. But yeah. <laughs> but no, it's been really good, hasn't it? We've really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We're really grateful that you uh, you messaged us and invited us along on your weekend. So the ladies just arrived for payment, so we can pay her and crack on with our day. So that's a bit that they've got skittles here. Oh, we've got them out, look. Yeah. I'm ready for you. Come on, man. I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming yeah, you chuck it on to that. I don't know if you have to pay those, Do you? but I don't know. I don't yeah, know. It's Sunday, isn't it? Maybe they've got a Sunday leak. So they've got these, these skittles here, and apparently in Northamptonshire, they've got like. Um, oh, look, it says it there Northamptonshire skittles. This claim is played at underarm. All right, okay. We've got the score in there. It's a nice little pub, isn't it? Oh, these are the people that play it, I think, maybe. I don't know. Morrison oh, the Morris, Morris, dan Morris and Dancers. Morris, Mor Mor <laughs> <laughs> Morris Dancers. Morris Dancers. Yeah, but they come and do loads of professional um, skittles and that here, which is quite good, isn't it? Lovely breakfast, £10 each. And I think it came about £23 with the drinks. So yeah. not too bad at all, really. And when you say drinks, you mean teas and coffees. coffees yeah. <laughs> it's a bit early for alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was a really nice breakfast. So if you do come here, um, the boat in does a lovely breakfast. Mm. The navigation, they don't do breakfast, but they do lovely evening meals as well. Yeah. So I think they're looking at starting breakfast. They, might, they might do, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we didn't make it to the museum um, just no. because of time, really. We've got to head off in a minute. Yeah, it's a nice little pond for the ducks now. The other side of this lock door is then the water starts up again. So ideal. But if we go over this way, let's take you over here, through the bushes, you should be able to see the site. 
Oh, I don't know. Swans, they follow you everywhere, them swans, don't they? Yeah. I reckon it's the same same ones. Yeah, I see the duck, yeah. So there we go. Just through there is the campsite. There are loads of space. Obviously, they can only have five people staying at a time because it is a certified location. Um, but the view just over this fence then to the canal. And that will probably go on for miles, so ideal for for walking the, yourselves or the dogs, actually. Right, so that's us now, isn't it? Yeah. We are definitely 100% finished on this trip. It's been an amazing um, trip out. Great CL, you've seen it all now, so that, that's good. So we uh, we were joined, and we did say it earlier, by the Rich Breeze, um, Debbie and... Debbie and <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Debbie and Richard. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> <You're> Richard. <laughs> <But, laughs> But yeah, it's been an absolute blast, a great weekend, and yeah, thank you, no, thank uh, you. For, yeah. for meeting up with us, yeah, because yeah, you know, this is what it's about, yeah. and uh, joining us. Definitely. Um, yeah, so it's been another great weekend, meeting great friends that we'll definitely catch up again. Yeah. Good yes. um, yeah. yeah, and we just want to yeah, say thanks. Don't leave it too long. Yeah, yeah and we'll yeah. see you guys on the next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So as well, they're, they're another vloggers on YouTube. So if you want to catch up um, and see see what they're up to, um, and they do quite a bit on uh, maintenance and van build van stuff, build is that mostly, right? Yeah, um, but now the van's nearly finished. We're more into a bit like yourselves. We're going from A to B and yeah. we'll try and do a bit of education on what a site's like and what to be expected from that site. All yeah. Club stop over. Well, camping is yeah, what we, we do mostly. We have just upgraded the solar. Yeah, just oh. done a solar upgrade. Yeah. So if you want to upgrade your solar, Check out our video. And what you're sitting on now, um, 500 and... 505. 505 watts. Yeah, oh, and on amazing. overcast day, we're pulling 80 watts. Well, there you go. So, that's not so any much. sort of knowledge like that, the, this is definitely your man for that. Um, but yeah, so Richby's Life Adventures. Show there, I will show, I'll show <laughs> it up here. So, are you only on Insta and YouTube or Facebook as well? Facebook as well. Facebook well. At the time Facebook when we well. did that, we wasn't on Facebook. But yeah. recently... Uh, set up a Facebook account. Yeah. Uh, we've also got another group called Van Life Happy Life. Excellent. Which is yeah. more of a community channel uh, yeah. group. It's not about us. There's, we rarely post on there. It's more about other people sharing yeah. park up tips, maintenance tips. Yeah. All this, that and the other, or promoting their YouTube channel, but it has to be Van Life related. Right, okay. Um, yeah. Because I have to approve anything. If I don't feel it's Van Life related, yeah. I won't accept it and let it be yeah. posted. Okay. So that's Van Life Happy Life. Van Life yeah. Happy so Life. Van Life and Happy the, Life. And as we said, they've built their van and it's absolutely gorgeous. So mm. if you do go over, go back a bit as well and have a look. Yeah, so we're not going to show it, it on this channel, yeah. but if you want to go to their channel and you see when exactly. We're a bit more wooden and talking <laughs> like a garlic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, they're excellent and great couple. Well, thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you. So that's us. Yeah, isn't that's it? So done. we will see everyone on the next um, video. Um, I don't know where we're going next. We'll have to just. No, we don't. But uh, we do. We're off to a rally, but we won't tell you where it is. You can, right. Uh, we'll have to tune in next time. Next time. So <laughs> thanks again to everyone that's uh, tuned into the channel uh, and subscribed. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Till then, bye. See ya.